I wasn't yours. I'm going back, I'm going back, I'm going back, I'm going, I'm going back, I'm going, I'm going back to who I was before. Hey guys and welcome and or welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to talk about the body butter that has the girls in a chokehold. If you want to know more, let's go. So you guys know, not too long ago, Fenty Beauty launched Fenty Skin. I have tried most, most of the stuff that they've come out with. Um, I feel like some of it is either, you know, hit or miss, but baby, there was one product they dropped. They had me hooked off the original product. That is their Butter Drop Body Butter. Um, let's see here, information about it. So the original is the Butter Drop Whipped Oil Body Cream with Tropical Oils and Butters. So there's the largest size, which gives you 6.7 ounces. That is $42. They also have, I'm assuming a mini, a mini size, which is $22. Uh, you get 2.5 ounces. And then they also have a refill, which is something that Fenty Skin has for a lot of their products where you can keep the container and just buy the refill so that, you know, you're somewhat being a little bit more conscious about how much uh, product you're wasting as far as like throwing stuff away and all that stuff. The refill is for another 6.7 ounces, that would be $38. And then you just, you know, keep the container. Um, so that one, I tried it, I was like, oh, okay, wait a minute. I like how this, I like how this feels on the body. It definitely feels uh, very nourishing. It definitely looks, I like the products where, you know, I, I low key be looking like a glazed donut after I put it on. You know, especially my skin tone, like when my skin tone looks glazed, okay. Um, and I like how it smells, you know, it says tropical oils and I would say it gives like a kind of fruitier, citrusy or scent, the original one, right? So I was very intrigued when they came out with this bad boy right here. Now I'm sure y'all saw this all over your timelines on YouTube, on Instagram, on Twitter, on TikTok of the girlies talking about this. They came out with like a holiday edition, right? So this one was the Shimmering Whipped Oil Body Cream. Um, very cute packaging, very aesthetic. Open it up. Come on. This smells like, you see how much is left? I mean, then again, like a little goes a long way. So I have, you know, used it, but I ain't make a dent in it like the other one, like the original one. Um, this smells like cinnamon French toast to crunch. What is it? Cinnamon toast crunch? Is that the cereal? That's what it smells. It's a very strong cinnamon scent. To me, it smells very spot on for that cereal. I, you might not want to walk around smelling like cereal. It's not the scent that bothered me with this one. Like I don't mind smelling like that. I do prefer more, you know, sweet fragrances, whether it's lo uh, lotions, fragrance uh, perfumes, stuff like that. What got me with this one, now you heard me say it in the title, that this is the Shimmering Whips Oil Body Cream. The shimmer in this, it was giving, you know, like, especially when we used to do uh, glitter on the eyes, like if you ever dropped glitter on the floor, did you hear my stomach just now? If you ever dropped glitter on the floor, you will be finding glitter on your carpets, on your floor seven years from now. That's what this one gave when I put it on my skin. I did do um, a video on Instagram where I showed what it looks like on my arm with flash, all that stuff. Um, that was what I just, I just couldn't, it just gave very much so. I feel like if it was late at night and you turn the flash on, on me and I had this on my body, it was going to give disco ball. Now, some people might like that. A lot of people did love the shimmer in this one, but it was just, it was, it was too much for me. It was a little too much for me. So I did buy it. I do like how it smells and we don't waste products over here. So I am going to get through using this. I wore this on New Year's. Cause I feel like, you know, like New Year's, hello, I said disco ball. Um, you know, New Year's, you're, you're gonna be out that night, you wanna be seen from a mile away. This gonna make, the shimmer in this is going to make sure you are seen from a mile away. Now you would think if I felt that way <laughs> about their other limited edition version of this, that if they came out with another one, I probably wouldn't wanna pick it up, but yet here we are. This is the uh, Vanilla Dream, Vanilla Dream Whipped Oil Body Cream. Again, you get 6.7 ounces in this one, and this one retails for $45, so this is $3 more than the original one. I don't remember how much the um, holiday, the, I would guess winter limited edition one, because this is giving very much so Valentine's Day. Um, I think the other one was $45 as well. 
I think so, don't quote me. It's not on here anymore, so I can't look at it, but, so they've come out with, you know, a Valentine's Day version. Um, I didn't say what this product is, okay. So it says, a thick, rich body moisturizer that delivers deep hydration in a nourishing whipped oil cream, loaded with rich butters and tropical oils for a limited time, now available in a limited edition, infused with a subtle rose gold pearlescent and dreamy vanilla scent. This clean, refillable body moisturizer features nearly 25% rich butters and seven conditioning oils for long-lasting hydration and a healthy looking sheen. Antioxidant and vitamin C packed cherry extract helps restore vibrancy with glycerin help while glycerin helps lock in moisture. Fragrance description, clean, fresh fragrance inspired by, oh, that's the original one. So the original fragrance description is clean, fresh fragrance inspired by tropical fruits and flowers. This one that I'm holding right here, a uh, dreamy warm vanilla scent. So I bought it even after, so I bought it even after everything I just said about the other one. I believe when they announced this one, cause I think they announced it. I think when they announced this one, they, they were also saying that there was shiver in this one as well. So I was like, if you felt that way about that one, why would you still purchase this one? I don't know, okay? I really don't know, but I'm glad I did because baby, first of all, the scent on this one, if you've ever watched any of my perfume videos, then you know I love me a vanilla fragrance. I'm wearing Kayali's Vanilla 28 right now. I wanna say a good amount of my fragrance collection is leaning towards vanilla, right? This smells like vanilla, pure vanilla. I'm talking go get the vanilla extract that you cook with, smell it, smell this. It smells exactly like vanilla. Mind you, long lasting vanilla, okay? I got it in the mail yesterday, put it on immediately once I got it because I wanted to see what the shimmer was like in it. Baby, when it when I did my nighttime routine, I was gonna put it on like actual whole body. I still smelled vanilla in that area where I put this on. So very strong, but like nice. It's a nice, not nauseating, not like people are gonna walk around here and it's like, who was playing in their mom's collection? I'm talking a strong, but very sweet, uh, warm, like they said, warm vanilla scent that's going to last the entire day on you. Now, like I said, I did want to see what the shimmer was looking like, and I do have it on right now, what the shimmer was looking like. Now, this doesn't have shimmer, like in the in the title. I don't remember if I just read the description that said it has shimmer in it. There is shimmer in this. However, I think they took some of the feedback because at least from what I saw, like that was the biggest complaint with this, with this limited edition. One, the biggest complaint was that um, it was too shimmery. Like, the just just did a lot with shimmer. I did see a lot of people complain about how it smells, but it's like, you either like how it smells or you don't. Um, so I think they took some of that feedback with this limited edition one and pulled back on the shimmer in this one. Because while yes, there is shimmer in this one, I feel like it's not as aggressive as it was in the first one. Like this one, you know, I can definitely see it shimmering on my body. But again, I just don't feel like it's as as deep as bad. Not as bad, because it's not like bad, it's just it was a little too much for me as the other one. However, I'm also thinking, you know, you gotta keep in mind, I am a deeper complexion, so things like that are going to stick out more, especially depending on the color of the shimmer. So the color of the shimmer on this one definitely leaned more towards like gold shimmer. This one, you know, I like guess staying on theme, the shimmer definitely gives a little bit more pink so I'm not sure if it seems a little more subtle to me because it's pink as opposed to, you know, like uh, this this shade of pink uh, as opposed to like gold shimmer sticking out. I hope that makes sense. Like, I feel like in my mind that could also be what it is. Maybe it does have the same amount of shimmer as the other one, but because of the color and the color on my skin tone is why. But to me, the shimmer doesn't stand out as much as it did in this one. So after I, swatched it on my hand yesterday. I saw how it smelled. I realized I like the smell and I realized that the shimmer does not bother me as much with this one. Guess what I did? I went and I bought more because absolutely, first of all, I already liked the formula of the product. That was never a problem for me. Um, it was the the smell of the other one because I could see where, where you don't want to smell like cereal every day. Um, and the, the shimmer in the other one. So if I don't have a problem with that one, Baby, why is this gonna be my new go-to body butter lotion? 
it gives oil all in one literally all in one and then you use this with like a body serum stuff like that. when i tell you especially go ahead and get it right now because it is limited edition and they did take this one off the site so go ahead and get you some right now because come summertime you're gonna wish you had this product i'm telling you i did not put lotion on this arm so y'all can see what it looks like this arm uh with it and then this arm without it but also looking at it and seeing that i didn't put lotion on it's giving i think they put less shimmer in it this time around because the other one i could literally take a shower and still feel like i see shimmer on my body like that's the type of aggressive i'm talking like this one you don't see it so i will get close up to the camera so you can see what it looks like on one arm without it but also like you see the sheen you see the sheen difference between those two body parts okay stop playing with it. so yeah y'all that was it for this video i just want to give my little you know quick mini review on a, a hot product that you are probably seeing everyone talk about all over the place i'm definitely going to order even more it is sold out on sephora's website but it is available on fenty beauty's website so that'll be linked down below let me know if you've tried this what your thoughts are make sure to thumbs up comment subscribe to notification bells down below thank you all for watching i'll see you in the next one bye Thank you.